friends, baby. <laughs> so you want to get a motorcycle and have fun like Cycle Cruiser has out here on the streets. Well, you know what? These are things you need to do before you get your very first motorcycle. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, I love it. I love it. Good times out here, boy. I tell you, it's nothing like riding a motorcycle. Fun, man. Learn a lot of skills. And uh, it's just freedom. It's beautiful out here. But I tell you, the number one thing that you need to do before you get your first motorcycle that I've always told people over the years, number one, buy all your gear. Get all your gear first. To make sure you can afford that gear, you get it now. Don't wait and, and get a bike and be like, oh, I can't afford it. I don't, I don't really need it. I'll be good out here. You know? You know, my buddy does, he rides out here with no gear. And he does just fine. No, don't be a fool out here, guys. Wear the gear. And I tell you, if you want to get some good gear, I have some awesome gear here, like this uh, super lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an uh, automatic tent shield, my favorite helmet ever, a motor vlog camera, my airbag vest to help keep you safe. I never leave home without this. Uh, Sadichi jacket, which is awesome. It's got a lot of storage pockets, got all the sea armor on it, shorty gloves, the boots, pants, everything. I always include links in the description and comment section of my video. Don't be a fool. There's so many new riders out here that don't wear gear and they have their butt handed to them out here. And uh, man, that car worried me there for a second. <laughs> but I'll tell you that also, before you get your first bike, First thing you want to do is you want to go get your tip license. Go down to the DMV and take the tip test. Uh, there's a test booklet you can get, I think, online, a study booklet there. Get that, that booklet, study it, go take the test, and they'll get you your, your temporary motorcycle license. Now, you don't want to just get that tip license and then go ride your buddy's bike or something like that and be out here like Cycle Cruiser busting some wheelers out here. Yeah, having a good old time out here. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get out here and be trying to bust some wheelers up in here and ride and think you know everything just because you maybe rode a bike one time or something or you saw some videos on how to ride. Uh-uh. Go take yourself down to the uh, MSF class and go ahead and learn how to ride a motorcycle properly. They'll teach you everything you need to know. You know what I'm saying? Good times out here, baby. Good time. And also, what I recommend you do is you go check out my defensive riding motorcycle videos. They'll teach you how to ride defensively. That's that's what's going to keep you safe out here on the streets. Out here, because. Whoa! Is that I treat each and every car getting ready to make a turn as a potential threat and they're going to get me. That's the skill set you need that's going to keep you from having a real effed up day. You know, because a lot of riders out here, guys, they don't know how to ride defensively. A lot of these ones that go crash down here are either that or they speed or doing something crazy like busting wheelies like cycle crews up in here, which I don't recommend you do. Um, but you know what I'm saying? It's fun to do. And sometimes, you know, us bikers feel mischievous. And sometimes you can have a, a real effed up day because of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you do get your motorcycle, don't be quick to go out here and commute to work and go ride in traffic. Go downtown where there's a lot of traffic and, and, and ride at the wrong times at like 5 o'clock. And, uh, you know, where people are getting off of work, they're angry because they're the traffic and everything. Don't be a fool and, and get around these crazy... You want to stay away from cars when you first start riding. Because I tell you, uh, the more cars you're around, even as a seasoned rider, advanced rider, and I've been riding over 10 years, I, you see, I try to avoid heavy traffic. I, I hate stop and go traffic, but I, when you're around a lot of cars, 
that's like being in an ocean with sharks uh, if you're around some sharks in there it's a higher chance you're gonna get bit by a shark same with a car if you're around a lot of cars it's a high chance that car is going to take you out uh, also don't get a fast motorcycle for your first bike that's the number that's the, the like the number two stupid thing that i see new riders do the number one is not wearing gear Good times, baby. <laughs> oh, I love doing wheelies, man. Woo! <laughs> you shouldn't do them out here on the streets, though. <laughs> but I tell you, I've had all the fast motorcycles, guys. I've had some, not all the fast bikes, but I've had some fast bikes. I've had, the, you know, the CBR 600 double R, CBR 1000 double R. I've had the uh, uh, Aprilia Tuono V4 1100 factory. I've had the Ducati X D of L, 100 plus horse, you know, 150 plus horsepower bikes. And I'll tell you guys, this is the only bike I have here. This YZ 450 FX Supermoto. And you see guys, I've traded speeding in. <laughs> for torque and busting wheelies and being able to go ride off into the woods whenever I want to or anywhere ride over stuff that is fun out here to me <laughs> ripping the throttle was fun don't get me wrong I had a lot of fun on that repping the CBR 1000 double R and ripping the throttle and but when you start getting them speeding tickets guys and your insurance rate goes up it's not so cool anymore, man. <laughs> luckily, luckily my insurance rate hasn't gone up because I tell you, get an attorney. If you get a speeding ticket, guys, get an attorney to fight it for you. It cost you probably a couple hundred bucks, two, three hundred dollars. It'll be worth it. They'll reduce it down to a non-traffic moving violation, like it did me. Um, no, you'll get no points. It'll be reduced to like a faulty tail light or something. <laughs> and uh, and your insurance rates won't go up. You don't even have to go to court, which is awesome. I think you, yeah, it sucks. You get up at eight, eight, nine o'clock. You gotta go to sit up there in court for like three hours until they call your name. And then you can try to, you know, try to beg the judge to have mercy on you. And he'll still end up giving you some points or something or reduce it down to maybe five over the speeding limit or something but i'll tell you this i'm gonna give you a tip and let you know that it doesn't matter he can if you go to court and they reduce it down to like say two miles an hour over the speed limit or something even if they don't give you points your insurance is still going to go up because it was a speeding ticket they don't care how fast you were going they don't care if you don't have any points all they care is that it was a speeding ticket and your insurance goes up so know that attorney will get it down oftentimes to a non-traffic moving violation and the judges will oftentimes listen to the attorneys and help the attorney out because they know you paid money and it, it's a system guys it's a system they got going on man stop thinking that it's so cool to have this super 200 horsepower bike but realize when you get out here on the streets all you're going to do is be putting around here like you see what i'm doing and if you're going to put around you might as well have fun doing it like i do you know bust a wheelie an innocent wheelie here and there and uh you know go ride up into the woods or something or <laughs> off road off the beaten path on occasion on your supermoto and i tell you you're gonna have a lot more fun you gain more skills and uh so i hope these tips help you guys out um don't do as I do, busting wheelies out here, like I said, guys. <laughs> uh, do, do as you're supposed to do out here. Definitely wear that gear. But don't forget to subscribe to my All-in-One Motorcycle channel. Make sure to hit the thumbs up, the like button. Help me out, guys. Appreciate it. Leave a comment. Uh, share this video with other noobs to help them out. And I uh, really appreciate you guys. Make sure to check out my other channel, Bug Out Muddle. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bugout Moto.